Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to show you how can you choose the version of OpenAI model. So like there are three different versions and if you are confused at which one to choose, then this video is for you. So here I am using, let me open my Azure Studio. Okay, so I am on my Azure OpenAI Studio and if you will go ahead and create a new deployment. So this is the dialog dialogue where you need to select the model and let me go to gpt35 turbo and this is the version which i'm this is the model version which i'm going to discuss today so if you will expand it you will see that there are three different options appearing over here so the one here is 0613 so there uh, this is a very specific version it means if you are selecting this one then your model will never get auto deployed and let's say there is a retirement date announced for this model then your model will automatically stop working whenever it reaches the retirement date hence make sure that you are monitoring your deployed version so that you can update your code references on time so this is the one uh, next comes 0301 default so as its name says default version which means it's actually a default ver version as of now and one thing to note here is this default version can change anytime whenever retirement date is reached so let's say today today default version is 0301 tomorrow default version could be 0613 so and as per the current documentation version 0301 of gpt35 turbo will be retiring no later than july 5 2024 so do keep in mind where do you want to choose the default one and where do you want to go for the specific coming on to the last one which is the most popular and the recommended one and it is auto update to default so which means that whenever a new version is des uh, designated as a default your model which you have deployed will automatically upgrade to the default version within the two weeks of that uh, destination change uh, being made so if you want your model to be updated as and when systems are getting updated or as and when new releases are coming up then it is always recommended to go for auto update to default so this is how it is and i hope i made myself clear on which model version to choose and how, from where to choose thanks for watching